what is going on guys snickle here and today i have another platinum trophy video for you guys today i'm going to be getting the platinum trophy in astro's playroom on the playstation 5 now the last trophy that i do have to get is you got a trophy which is to pick up a trophy in the playstation labo i kind of figured that this was fit to be the final trophy in this game and uh that's just how i felt about it really enjoyed the game i didn't want to make this my first playstation 5 platinum but i did make it number two because i'm just trying to play good games out here anyway if you guys do go on to enjoy the video be sure to give it a like subscribe for more trophy content like this and consider hitting that bell notification to stay up to date on all of my new uploads anyway with all of that being said let's get right into this video I do live stream all my platinum trophies and various other things over on Twitch. So if you want to follow me, there's a link for that down in the description below. So Astro's Playroom, as I said, my second PlayStation 5 platinum trophy. Now, why did I not make this number one? Mainly because everybody else was making it their first PlayStation 5 platinum. And I like to be outside of the box most of the time. So I went for something dumb, which was Godfall, which is just funny because it's the only PlayStation 5 game to now be demastered, which is just, you know, the epitome of me playing bad games. But I actually really enjoyed Astro's Playroom. So I've never really played any of the other Astro's games. I think that there's like, uh, I think there's like an Astro's Playroom VR on the PS4 that I want to play at some point, but I never played any of these. So I, I, I didn't really know what to expect. Everyone told me they were great games and I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed playing through. I enjoyed the game so much that I made full collectible and trophy guides for it, which is not like not atypical of me but there was a lot going on in the game and and typically when there's like a lot to do i'm just not about it but i made i made those i enjoyed every second of making them and i, I just really enjoyed the game now if you really want to get the game done fast you can you can fly through it you can do all your collectibles on your first playthrough you you don't even need to do anything the game is very good at tracking everything that you need when it comes to the artifacts and things of that sort and then also the gacha prizes in the playstation labo so it really just tracks everything that you'll need in order to get the platinum and you will have to get everything as you're playing through the game and i know when i say that you're probably like holy shit like that's a lot of stuff and it can be but but it's really not because you're gonna find most of it while you're just naturally playing through the game the levels can be like speed run and like a minute or two they're not long levels so if you forget a thing here and there you can just load that one level back up run to where you need to run to and then pick up what you need to pick up and then move on with your day the second you pick it up you can leave and and that's how it works so very good at kind of getting through if you're missing things very good at loading into levels tracking everything just all around a great fun game to play so uh, again the last trophy that we are going for here is um is to pick up a trophy which is surprisingly right by what i'm near but i'm kind of just running around playing with things here uh just to see everything that is uh that's kind of hanging out around here the other very interesting thing is that you collect all of these items as you're really playing through the game and then there's a lot of trophies that are tied to things that you'll have to do with these items and i just think that that's very interesting as well like ejecting discs and like flipping the ps2 logo and and doing very interesting things like that the game really makes you uh interact with it a lot which is great because it's a game but uh, it does make you interact with it a lot which is pretty cool and it's got a lot of uh, it's got a lot of Easter eggs in it to, or, or I should say references, I guess you could say Easter eggs to other games, to other things, uh, and obviously everything PlayStation. And when you're playing through and you're seeing all that stuff, you're kind of like, holy shit, like how, <laughs> how is there so much? Like I didn't realize there was this much. So here we are, we're opening up our last few gacha prizes here. I forgot I had to do this. So we're going to open those. And for the gacha prizes, there's a lot going on in this, uh, whatever you want to call it, this uh, machine. Uh, you only really need around 6,000 coins in order to get everything or, or all the gacha prizes. So by the time you play through the game and do collectibles and, you know, do all your other random trophies, you, you probably won't have to grind too much for coins. I played through the game, went back through and did collectibles for like half of the game or something wasn't really worrying about like farming coins like literally just playing back through and uh i had extra coins there and i had nothing to do with them so there we go we got all the gacha prizes that's pretty cool now we need to go and pick up a trophy to get our final trophy so that we can get 
our platinum trophy. There's a lot of trophies going on here. But, um, yeah, I, I would highly suggest the game. I, I believe, I think it's free. Like, regardless, I think it's free. Uh, it's obviously only on the PlayStation 5, so you're going to need a PlayStation 5 to get it, which uh, that's going to be harder to do than to uh, to get the game. But if you're able to get the PlayStation 5, would highly advise to play the game and not maybe necessarily make it your first Platinum. I think, a, you know, maybe a first Platinum be something else, and this is a good, like, follow-up or something. But anyway, there, there are the trophies right there. And uh, we just got to pick them up. I was going to pick the platinum up for the truth for the for the platinum, but uh, I accidentally picked the gold up. So we'll, we'll pick that platinum up. And that's so cool, man. They, they 3D modeled that and it's in the game. It just looks so cool. So there are the two trophies and there's our platinum trophy. You've only done everything. Great explanation. Great fun game. Had a lot of a lot, a lot of fun in it. But anyway, let's take a look at this list. So here it is 100% with the Platinum. There is DLC for this game. It's just a little extra level. It is free, and I believe there's three trophies. You basically just have to beat it. Uh, you have to do some speed runs, and then you have to do one random trophy. Nothing too crazy there, and the speed runs are actually kind of fun. But as you're looking through the base list here, you're going to see that there's trophies for beating the game, getting all the artifacts, getting all the puzzle pieces in every single level. You're going to have a crap ton of random trophies at the bottom that you'll more or less probably have to go back after the fact after you've done all your collectibles in order to just get through but again very fast loading into levels and really going back and cleaning up isn't that bad and then you're going to get trophies for getting all the gotcha prizes and then basically getting everything in general it's basically you know collect everything in the game and you're going to get a platinum and then you got to do a few random things once you collect everything and then that that's going to clean up your platinum i shouldn't say collect everything and get a platinum because you do have to do those random things in order to get the platinum anyway here is the profile trophy level 557 25 percent i've got 13,273 total trophies got 8954 bronze 2982 silver 1128 gold 209 platinums and like i said 13,273 total trophies if you're into that numbers kind of stuff and then here's the platinum trophy itself You've only done everything, which is how I feel after I've played every single game and get the platinum. And then I have that void of emptiness where I don't know what to do with my time. But anyway, with that depression out of the way, let's talk about the game for just a little longer. Great game. If you have a PS5, I would highly suggest to play it. And if you have a PS5 and you haven't played this, then, uh, you know, I think I'm behind. So I really, I guess I can't be suggesting it to anybody. But definitely go get the game, download it, and play it if you haven't already. So let's talk about some numbers here. So uh, out of 10, if I had to rate this out of 10 in order to get the platinum, I'm going to give this like a... I'm going to give this like a 2 out of 10 to get the Platinum. If you're going for the 100%, I'll bump it up to a 3 out of 10 because you do have to do those speed runs. They're not really that bad. Very easy, honestly, uh, and you'll probably get them done within your first uh, try of doing them. So a 2 out of 10 for the Platinum, 3 out of 10 for the 100%. Time it takes to get the Platinum, I would say no more than 6 hours really i mean honestly no more than six hours if you if you're playing through on your first time and you're not worrying about collectibles and then you're going to go and do the collectibles after the fact then you're probably talking more around 10 hours but if you're kind of looking at something and doing the collectibles as you're playing through the game you're probably looking at around six hours maybe even less than that um and if you do need help with any collectibles or any trophy guides there is a playlist that will be linked in the or linked in the description below with all of my, uh, you know, trophy and collectible guides. So if you want to use those when you're playing through, I would greatly appreciate it. And, and hopefully I can help you. So yeah, two out of 10 for the platinum, three out of 10 in order to get the 100%. And you're probably talking six to 10 hours in order to get the platinum and the 100%, because honestly, getting the DLC trophies done will take you no longer than probably 30 minutes. It's really not that bad. Anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, be sure to give it a like. Let me know your thoughts on the game down in the comments below. Have you guys gotten around to playing it? Or is this going to be your first PlayStation 5 Platinum if you can get a PlayStation 5? Because again, that seems to be the more rare thing out here is getting a PlayStation 5 than the Astros Playroom Platinum rarity. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like. If you've made it this far and you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing for more trophy content like this. Down in the description below, you'll find links to all types of stuff, my Twitter, my Twitch, other videos like this. So if you want to go follow me on any of those or watch any of those, I would greatly appreciate it. And anyway, I hope to see you guys around sometime soon.